Going to do some uh, sublimation on these burlap coasters. Looks like this. Comes with a little holder. I, I bought these from InnoSub. I'm making these as a gift for someone. And what's neat about these is you can sublimate on both sides. So I've got six coasters here. I have 12 graphics. And I'm going to be showing you how I do that. Coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the Loft Above the Shop. And what I've got here, as I mentioned at the very beginning, are these uh, burlap coasters. So they're not real burlap. They are a thaw burlap or a fake burlap, but they look like burlap. I've uh, got kind of a uh, wheat color to them, as you can see here. And they are fairly substantial. And they come in a little holder here. And I'm making this as a, a gift for someone um, by request. So I'm using some... Uh, beer logos on one side and I have them printed out here on sublimation paper and of course I use legal size paper so I could get all six of them on one sheet and I have another sheet that's printing right now on my Epson 2720 printer for the other side so these would be reversible so they can either use the beer logos on one side or they can use the sarcastic and inspirational quotes that I have made up from the other side and I'm going to be using my Viarco heat press for this because it's a quick project and that one, as I mentioned in my other videos, warms up the quickest. But what I need to do first is do some cleanup on my prep area over here because it's full of cups for another project. Okay, this is my counter space where I usually do my prep and as you can see it's all stacked up with coffee mugs here for a, a project I just completed. Um, I'm going to be selling these here at a show coming up in August. So I need to put these somewhere so I have some space to work. Okay, these coasters are four inches square. Little ruler right here. So they are exactly four inches. So I need to get my graphics cut four inches square. And to do that I'll just uh, do a little bit of measuring here, lay it out, cut them with a cutter here. And then um, the other one is just about done printing and I'll get those all cut up. Since I was trying to get, since I wanted to get all the graphics on one sheet of paper, um, I didn't leave a whole lot of space in between them. Otherwise I could uh, just tape the coasters to the paper and do them all at once. But I wanted to do these individually. So I just make some little pencil marks here where I need to make my cuts. And I just use a paper trimmer. If you're ever going to use a paper trimmer to uh, do this, make sure that your cutter never drags across your graphic because it'll ruin the graphic. I missed that one by just a hair. If I was doing this in a production setting, I wouldn't be uh, taking the time to individually cut these. I would space them out on larger paper and tape them all, keep tape them all right to the sheet and do them all at once. Okay, now to prep these. It um, doesn't appear that there's any lint on them, but I'm going to use a lint roller on it anyway. And of course I do one side at a time. I can't do both sides at once. So I've got my graphic here, and they, these are mirrored. And because I have this cut exactly the same size as the coaster, it's very easy to get it centered on there and straight. So once I get it all lined up all the way around, I'll put two pieces of heat tape on, on opposite sides, just to hold it so it doesn't shift. Like so, and then I'll get the rest of these together and we'll take them over to the heat press. The other sheet is still printing. Okay, over here at the heat press. Got a Teflon sheet on the bottom here, because I always keep one there. Put a sheet of uh, paper down. I think I'll do these three at a time. Probably could do more, but then I'd have to reach way back in there to get these all stacked together. I guess I could do four. We'll do four and two. A piece of paper on top, protect the top plating. So what's the time of temperature here? 360 degrees for 60 seconds with medium pressure.
There's my other tool. I'll let these cool off and I'll get the graphics ready for the other side. Okay, we got the other batch in here. I got the first four in there. 360, 60 seconds. So that's what's kind of neat about this is you can put stuff on both sides. And on the other side we got Whole Garden Beer and this side we got Peace Love and Tacos. And some of these other ones here I put little inspirational quotes on. Wear your scars like badges. You can put anything you wanted to on here. And what that's nice about these being reversible is it uh, depends on your mood or what the event is you're using these. See, overthinking is a killer of dreams. And this one here is happy days ahead. Of course, if you're sucking down a bunch of Guinness, you could have some happy days. Now we'll get the next batch on here. No, you don't have to hot peel these. You can let them cool off. Doesn't make any difference. There's our last two. So as you saw, this isn't all that tough. And what is really neat about these is you can do things on both sides. For example, here we got Kona Brewing on one side. The other side is age only matters if you're whiskey. So there's number one. Number two, we got Dragon's Milk. That's a craft beer. And on the other side, as I drank too much whiskey, you said no one ever. So there's number two. Ho Garden. Another beer. Other side. Peace, love, and tacos. Said I picked a bunch of random things for this. This side, Negro Modelo Cerveza, which is a Mexican beer, and I happen to like this too. On the other side, wear your scars like badges. Especially true of people in the building trades. I know about that. Next one, Blue Moon. And I happen to like this one too, especially with an orange slice. And overthinking is the killer of dreams. A little bit of inspirational thought there. Guinness. Want to get Irish there. And as I mentioned earlier, if you drink enough of this Guinness, happy days are ahead. And this all will go back into the box that came in. We'll make a nice little gift box. Just like so. And the grandson can wrap it up. He's going to give it to his father. It's a gift. And I've got a, some other ones I can make too here. I bought several sets of these. Once again, I got these from InnoSub. They did not supply them. I, I bought them. And this is a great little coaster set, especially since you can apply graphics to both sides. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop, sublimating burlap coasters. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.